Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bernard Ma, author of Generative AI in Practice, 100 plus amazing ways generative artificial intelligence is changing business and society. And today we're diving into the transformative world of generative AI. This technology is not just reshaping content creation across text, images, and even 3D objects. It's re revolutionizing how we interact with the digital content. Let's break down the four primary types Types of generative AI and see how they are making waves. First up, we have large language models or LLMs. Imagine a super brain that has read almost everything on the internet. This is exactly what LLMs are. They use this knowledge to generate text by predicting the next word, making them handy for tasks like translating languages or answering questions but it's just like people, they also pick up biases, which is a big topic of debate. You've probably heard of some of those popular ones like ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Next up, we have diffusion models. These are the artists of the generative AI world. Give them a text description and they will start with random noise. You can think of it as starting to draw a picture by scribbling randomly on a piece of paper. And bit by bit, they refine this into a clear detailed image or even a video. This tech is behind some amazing tools like Stable Diffusion and DALI that are changing how creatives work across the globe. Then we have Generative Adversarial Networks or GANs. Picture two AIs in a creative showdown. One AI, the generator, creates an image while the other, the discriminator, judges them. They constantly challenge each other and through this competition they learn to produce incredibly realistic and complex content. It's like a digital game of artistry and critique that has been revolutionizing fields from gaming to fashion. And then we have hybrid models. This is where we combine a number of these technologies to lock, unlock even more potential. For instance, AlphaCode uses large language models and reinforcement learning to write better computer code, while OpenAI's Clip merges text and image understanding for richer, more accurate media generation. The last and the newest model is neural radiance fields or nerves. They basically are the latest frontier of generative AI. These models take ordinary 2D images and transform them into stunning 3D models. This means you can see objects from any angle, just like in real life. It's groundbreaking for things like video games, virtual reality, and even planning cities. Each of these models is transforming our world in its own way, making what once seemed like science fiction a reality. As we continue to explore these technologies, it's exciting to think about how they will shape our future. For more insights onto generative AI, stay tuned, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my book, Generative AI in Practice.